Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. You're not fine, Jared. Jared, you're not fine. I'm fine. You're not fine. Are you drinking booze? Nah, he's not because he's not fine, Dan. I'm fucking fine. He's not fine. Can we get Ross a beer over here? Nah, I I got got the vodka. Oh, and good for you. Yeah, we got the vodka and we've been doing shots over here, but he's not fine. I'm fine. No, give him a hug. He's not fine. I'm perfectly fine. Nah, he's not fine. I don't know why there I'm getting it is. a hug. There it is, Dan. I, this is uncomfortable as hell. I don't know why. Subs- I, oh, your there beard is. is it? Oh, the what? Come on. Yeah. Subscribe Come on. on YouTube for, for to see Dan's hug. Subscribe That's nice. on YouTube. That's nice. That's a nice little snippet right It there. is. Yeah, they cut that. That's just an ad. This reminds what me. What is it an ad for? Well, the show. The show, yeah. But, but this yeah. reminds me of uh, when Robin Williams said to Matt Damon, <laughs> it's not your fault it's and not, Goodwill Hunting. It's probably your fault, though. Have we started? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, okay. we're, we're deep into this. All right, we're, we're doing this. We're deep into the okay, show. We're deep so into I'm the fine. show. So I'm fine. You're not fine. I'm perfectly fine. You're not fine. I don't know why I'm being told I'm not fine. A lot of people uh, who listen to the show out of the... Because we're up to 5.7 million listeners now, oh, right? Oh, wow. A lot of people have asked, Hey, man, Jared seems like he's divorced again. They said that? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah. Be- before it was made public, yeah. Oh, but, yeah, we, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People knew already. Because you did a show. Uh, we, we did a show from your house in San Antonio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you married a porn star. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you were in The the Greatest Love. Is that what Whitney Houston said? The Greatest I think Love? That, yeah, I think yeah. that's what she or said. Or Higher Love. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh yeah. Bring me yeah. to Higher Love. Yes. I'm sorry, what is this? Is this some sort of... I'm looking at the five stages of grief and the... Grief? <laughs> We're the, going with grief? The very first stage is denial, uh, which is what he's doing. I'm not even going to face him right now because he's being... Fine. Yeah. You're in denial. No, no, no. don't face I'm him. I'm not in denial at all. And if anybody knows anything, Dan, you would know I have no feelings Correct. when I don't want to. So, they are uh, like a light switch. So, yes. so what happened here with the love of your life, who was a porn star? Nothing. Nothing at Nothing. all? You, so you guys are still together or not together? No, no, not. You're not together. No, okay. No. So what happened that ended the relationship? Oh, dude, nothing. Look, you're, nothing. A, you're a fucking five-year-old child right now. <laughs> yeah. And there's a broken vase on the floor. <laughs> yep. And the vase was not broken. It was on the table. And yeah. I walk back into the room. It's on the floor and it's broken. I say, what I happened? And you say nothing. We'll take responsibility Mm -hmm. and say that i'm a very difficult person to tolerate okay romantically romantically (laughs) uh no no why is that because you're a selfish lover or no no okay definitely not that uh no he's definitely not no no i mean uh I, I think you have to, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm definitely not. That, that was a yeah. really sly yeah. line by Dan yeah, that I really good. liked in there. He's definitely not. Uh, because uh, I think just the way that my mind works and the way I live. Okay, so, so explain it, it, it to me. Like, wh- why did it end? What was the exact reasoning of like, hey, man, I've got to get, the, I've got to get out of this? No, it's just, it, that was just it. It was like, it, probably most likely me being selfish of, hey, I don't, I don't want to have to you know, kind of take into consideration anybody else's feelings. <laughs> okay. So why get into a relationship at all then? Because I like the adventure. Yeah, life is super boring, yeah, Ross. It's like, but that's the thing. I, I am life always is down. Like, if you're like, do you want the normal door or this one with glitter on it? I'm always going to pick the one with glitter on it. Well, so here's the thing. As your friend seeing this over the last six years, right? You date these girls, it ends horrifically every single time. It doesn't? It does. Does it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay, so I got beat up a couple times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A, girl, I mean, a girl punched you in the face. <laughs> We're not going to say which one it was, but when you said I'm breaking up with you, she punched you in the face. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, but, but, I mean so, that wasn't horrifically, though. I mean, I didn't get stabbed. But why post? Why post on social media? Shouldn't you have like a, a, a buffer? A, oh yes, a one year like buffer. A, like a buffer. You just get Maybe, past a year. You know what? I'm I because I I think it's funny. Uh, I think the roller coaster is funny for everybody. <laughs> Not I mean again I see the humor and everything. I'm like I mean that's kind of funny. Like, yeah. Uh, why, He's right. It why is don't funny. we laugh at that? Like like also too, I. The engagement anytime I'm with an, a new girl goes through the roof. And I think it's just because there are guys out there that are like, oh, this piece of shit can land a girl, then I have hope for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and not only that, but not only a girl, so, but a porn star, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, were you tired of the, the screenshots getting sent to you? Because that was, that was another thing that we got flooded with was 
I can't remember oh, the no, porn no, no, star's no. name, That's and they funny. wanted to that watch the videos. That was super funny to me. I, that doesn't bother me at all. I mean, you know, I'm like Dan. Yeah. I'm like, hey, if, That's I'm, true. if I'm not home, you better, you know, bang somebody else and send me a video. Well, you don't have to bang somebody else. <laughs> you don't have to, but you, but if you do. videotape it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, trying to, yeah. I'm trying to pull up one of the photos you sent me. No, you was, don't, don't pull that up for this. I, no, or I'm not going to show Dan. No, I'm not going to. Because that one was really funny. I laughed like hell at that. I'm not going to show it. Because I had to do a double take, and then I went. Oh yeah, those are the tattoos. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it a drinking bro who sent this? Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, so it was. a drinking bro sent. But hundreds sent a... of them would ask me like, "How do I find this?" And I would show them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't be selfish. Uh, but the website that, that it was in question uh, is <laughs> facialabuse.com, <laughs> which I didn't know existed yeah, until yeah, this yeah. photo was sent. Mm -hmm. And he, and all he says was, "Dude, is that not your wife?" And then it's a photo of her on facialabuse.com with somebody's maybe 14 to 16 inch penis inside of her mouth. Well, yeah, maybe. And that never Allegedly. wore on well, you at all. Well, if it was that long, long, it was probably inside more than her mouth. It was inside of her throat and stomach probably at that point. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. So none of that bothered you. Because that, no, that, that's also a big curiosity. Because everybody, you know, there was a movie called Life After Porn, right? Yeah. Where the women talk about what it's like in relationships, what it's like getting jobs and all this other stuff. None of that. You so you don't have a, like any issue with that. Not a shred of a feeling. Look, here's like, the deal. and honestly, I feel kind of bad, like because I mean, we've known a few, and I yeah. I kind of pry all the time about past relationships, and when you hear like how some guys treat them, it's awful, like like horrible. Like they either get one of two things: they get one, they the guy pretends they want to be in a romantic relationship with them and then treat them like a porn star. Like, like they're just a, yeah. a, a, a total fuck toy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're, and they're horrible to them or two. They, they find out later and they are just angry and possessive and super like, like, like just, that doesn't make any weird. sense though. Yeah, Can you imagine doesn't. you're like, playing a game of pickup basketball and you're having a great time and all of a sudden you realize the guy used to be a pro. You're like, Oh, that's cool. No, sweet. That's, that's ruined it for me. <laughs> <laughs> or you found out that he played another game four years ago yeah, and you're Jared, mad about it. Jared, like, get the fuck out he of would, here. He would be more mad. Like if his girlfriend said, hey, I just fucked some other dude. He'd be like, oh, sweet. Yeah. But if he rolled up to the gas station that morning and saw her getting gas station food without him, that would end the relationship immediately. Yeah, I would be it's angry. true. I would be angry about that. It's yeah. true. Uh, but she I was playing in a pickup game where, uh, where a guy me. played college ball and just absolutely housed everybody was at, it Uncle at Drew? a D1 school. No, it felt like it. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And they were like, oh, I played for Duke. And I was like, oh, fuck off, dude. That's why we're all getting killed out here. <laughs> so did you, did you end up banging that guy or what? Yeah, yeah, I fucked yeah, him. I fucked dope. him for like three that's hours after that. Mad, yeah. man. <laughs> that's a great story. I like that. Well, welcome to Wilmington, North Carolina. I love it here. Uh, you, you've seen to have bounced back pretty quickly. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. <laughs> As always. And uh, you've got a special little lady in here today. Uh, a graver. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's the nickname we use. Yeah. What, what is that? Explain what, what that position is, by the way. Uh, well, will uh, you hold both of her legs up by the heels? <laughs> <laughs> is that not right? No. Uh, hmm. Mortician. A mortician. A mortician. Yeah. What, 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 what does one do as a mortician? What's you the? You know, I mean, I, they they do a number of things, but it all has to do with embalming dead and people. Yeah, yeah, dead, dead stuff. So, how much does it cost if I want to get in a room? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We'll talk about that off. Yeah, air. no, we'll go off air uh, yeah. uh, off that. Uh, so yeah, because last night we were like, hey man, we'll come and pick you up from the airport when you fly into Wilmington. You're like. Nah, got my own ride. No, I got it. Yeah, got it covered. <laughs> you know? Did she pick you up in a hearse or what? No, no, actually a, a lifted truck. No shit. And uh, yeah, like I said in the previous show, a compound bow and a dirt bike helmet in the back. So, man, you know, so how, how did, how did you, you, have, you have to think like I want to I want to talk about like the last few years. Yes. And, and, and I want you to see that there's a, there's a science behind this. Oh, there's a cycle, and I've already... There, no, not <sighs> necessarily a cycle. It is a cycle. I'm saying, I'm saying though, <laughs> if you look at the extremes. Yep. So I go from middle, middle of the ground, internet personality, popularity on the internet, uh -huh. to doesn't exist on social media, to social media superstar, mm -hmm. to porn star that kind of like that had retired and had didn't really exist on social media. So like I'm doing, I'm trying different 
lanes. If sure. You, will. you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like it's like, okay, the, 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 the popular, definitely the popularity shit doesn't work. That's, I can't handle that. Right. Like anybody that has. Well, you want somebody the opposite of you who's not staring at their phone all day worrying about that, social media. And then also to just, you notice how uh, some of those personalities that are, that are, you know, we do a very good job of the fact that, yes, we have a presence on the internet, but we're not fucking engulfed by it. And we're not, like, yeah. I'm not sitting there reading every comment and getting mad all night because somebody said one bad thing, which nobody really ever does. I mean, they make, they make jokes here and there, but who cares? I make fun of myself more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, but yeah, somebody that just lets it drag them down constantly, like just things that are going on on the internet. It's like, hey, uh, you know, I, I, felt, I found myself constantly saying, D does that affect our life right now? I mean, we're in our own living room. We just had dinner. We've got all the booze we want. We got air conditioning. I mean, I just need somebody that's happy to be alive. I say the same thing about like <laughs> yeah. when my uh, like, when, when, when when like family members die and stuff. I'm like that didn't affect me at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they go back to pounding off. <laughs> No, but like, you know how many times I've been yelled at because I've always, I go, oh, I mean, we have air conditioning. What are you mad about? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. People. Because we didn't have air conditioning in Iraq. Yeah. yeah he so and, I'm, I'm appreciative of AC every day. <laughs> he, he and I have known each other for, uh, what, 13 years or some shit yeah. now? Yeah. It's like, uh, we've both been getting in trouble for years for not giving a shit about stuff that we don't think matters. matters. And yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and that's definitely something I said. I, I've always said, it doesn't matter how. You explain this to me. I'm never going to be on the same page with you because yeah. I just don't, I don't see the value in what you're angry about or what you're upset about or this. I just don't see it. I'm sorry. Yeah. You I think you'd just be fine living like, you know, alone somewhere. You would think that would work, but there's something about, maybe it's just the women that he and I decide to fucking be with, yeah. but they want the conflict part of it. Like, uh, something's wrong. I have to react to it. That's just, that's that's the fucking socialization of that or, whole situation. Or yeah, maybe. the draw to yeah, like I don't, a, a winning. Because I found myself yeah. a couple times where someone was like like I was obsessing to win them over because I couldn't. So then it became a fucking game for me, and I'm like, no, I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but for for both of us, it's like there's no version but, of mean, us that that's gonna care about that stupid like small talk and stuff like that, it'll never happen. No, but also too, I mean, you, you know how elaborate, like, and the, and the time and things that I'll go into to put myself in what normal people would see as an uncomfortable situation. And I think it's fun. Like for instance, the homeowners association. Oh thing. yeah. Yeah. Like, I was full blown, like going at this HOA that I have nothing to do with. I yeah. don't even live within 30 miles of it, but I am fucking <laughs> riling up everybody in this community and then they catch me. And, and then, uh, yeah. So, uh, the update on that was I got outed. Somebody that's inside drinking bros. The group had screenshot my play by play of, of reporting to them what yeah, I yeah. was doing inside the HOA this week and things really? like that. Really? Somebody in Drinking Bros. They posted, they posted uh, in the HOA group, like, hey, we've all been had. These people don't even live here, and he's just doing this to fuck with all of us. Mm -hmm. And so about two days later, a Karen yeah. uh, wrote into Black Rifle Customer Service and had all the screenshots of everything and this giant paragraph of complete fabrication, too. Like, like this was a full-blown Karen. Like, hey, I just want to point it out. One of your employees did X, Y, and Z, and this has affected our whole community, and it's affected who goes to our pool, and it's affected the families and everybody in this, and I just want to bring it to your attention. But guess what happens when that happens? What happened? I get a text. Hey, come in here. You have a customer service ticket. <laughs> so I sat down and went and wrote back. That's hilarious. From me. Did she write you back at all? Oh yeah. Well, well, it gets better. So, I I call I called her out straight up. Like, uh, Karen, I'm sorry, but none of this affected your community. Half the people laughed. Some of the people knew 
who I was and was even commenting like I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a troll like it was all in good fun and I'm like I'm sorry I drug you guys away from complaining about the grass or the pool or where the stop signs should be put in your fucking community for 10 seconds to get a fucking little piece of joy in your life and I go the, I ended the, the paragraph with sorry Karen you asked to see the manager and got the owner and he told you to get a fucking sense of humor <laughs> I think you and might have talked about then, this on the, on the Vegas show. Yeah, uh, so this is the update? Yeah. yeah, so then I found her on Facebook and just sent her the gif of Neo in, in the first Matrix where he puts his hand up and all the bullets fall, <laughs> and that's all I sent. <laughs> Did she reply at all? Oh, yeah. She was, she, was, she was like, cool diatribe, bro. And that was it. Like, like she knew. Like, dude, she was just trying to be a douche and get So me. she's not like, going to be. If I was a employee or whatever the fuck, you know, she was hoping that you they'd would be, be like, fired. no, we'll <laughs> terminate him immediately and blah, 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 blah. And it's like she even cited in her oh, paragraph damn, that's like, I'm going to be sure to tell everyone I know not to buy the coffee. And I'm like, well. The original post of me fucking with your homeowners association got close to 280,000 impressions. So, uh, you know what? It was worth the risk of your nine friends not buying our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back on all that, we should have made a fucking fake video of you getting fired and dragged out of the that, building. That would have been fun. Oh, to send shit, it back. Dude. Like... I mean, the shit kicked yeah. out of me. Yeah. They and then, me on then fire. you just hear a gunshot and it further. goes to black. <laughs> it's like, like, and, hey, and then, hey, Karen, we took care of him for you. That would have been funny. That was yeah. good. But I was, I was, I was, I, I didn't have you know you guys to kind of bounce off ideas, and I acted quickly and everything of that nature. Things so, happen fast. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but to be fair, like I was in there causing harmless fun. Like, I wasn't in there, like, doing, like, really crazy shit. Like, sure. I was just fucking with people that literally all they do is complain all day and fight with each other. And it's like, you have a Facebook group for your neighborhood and all you guys do is argue? Like, oh, Yeah, God. they should be organizing, like, or <laughs> orgies and shit like that. Yeah. yeah why not? Ah, well, look, why HOAs not? are... Uh... They're, they're the bane of my existence. Like, I, <laughs> I hate them. Well, you, I, you just bought a new house. Do you have HOAs? Fuck no. I'm on eight unrestricted acres, meaning if I want to build a fucking tower... Yeah, I can. And if I want to fill that tower with cattle, I can. What if we filled it with cat food? Oh, yeah. I love cat food. Yeah, yeah you you're do. a big fan cat of cat puke food. puke is back. Cat food is delicious. <laughs> so if for those who may be new listeners, let's go back through this cat puke situation because... What happened was Jared was having oh, sex. God. Yes. You're going to embarrass me now. It's fine. I have a guest. Well, uh, she's fine. Fire. <laughs> she's a guest for like two or three days, and then it'll be another guest and another guest. Millions of people are watching this, so you oh, yeah. have bigger problems with that there girl over there. So, uh, yeah, so Jared's fucking. Yep. On a ghost bed, actually, if I remember correctly. Correct. Yeah, ghost from ghostbed.com ghost ghost forward slash drinking bros. He's fucking on a ghost bed, and he looks over and sees his cat. And the cat jumps up on the bed and immediately vomits. Yeah. <laughs> As he's watching Jared fuck. Yeah. The cat, yeah. So it's it hard to... she. It was a TK. Eh, that's yeah, TK. There's either, a, lot of hard, a lot of hard years on that yeah, cat. Yeah, there's a lot of hard years on uh, that cat. But going back to this whole thing. So we can't talk to the cat. Cats don't speak English that we know of. Yeah. Uh, we can't ask her why. But I think we know why. Nah, we do know why. And what do you think the... The why is uh, w watching Jared fuck. Yeah, yeah. I think the cat wanted to end its own life. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the cat was watching Jared fuck doggy and was just like, ah, I'm all done with this world. <laughs> if I could choke I mean, on my own puke and I kill myself, wish there great. was a video of this because she walked in and just paused and looked and then went blah. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> So, oh man, uh, I miss I miss our, you know I I recently re-listened to Trans Frank. Mm. Oh yeah, and I realized Frank, I've it? never gone back and listened to any of our shows. There's so much I have no clue no. that has been said or created. Like Trans Frank was crazy, crazy. And when, <laughs> and when you get into the episodes of of the four to five hundreds, and I know Rogan had said something about this of like, hey, you're gonna celebrate a thousand or whatever, and he's like. No, man, I'm, you know, I plan to keep going and it, you know, doesn't really matter to me. And it, it's yeah. the, kind of the same way with us. Uh, we keep going. So I don't listen to the, the past episodes because, you know, every episode we do, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. But uh, yeah, man, I, I did go back and listen to one. It wasn't trans Frank. God, it was, that uh, one is fucking funny. That one's fucking insanity. Yeah. But uh, it was it was something else when I was like, oh, my God, I, I 
can't believe that actually went down. <laughs> All of these episodes, I can't believe and actually went like down. And people like them still, so I mean, that's good. Yeah. Like, I'm, I've always been like, ooh, am I going to catch some shit for that? No. <laughs> back, in, back in the day, you used to tell me that people would come up and make references to you, and you're like, I don't even know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it would dude. take me a minute. They would like yell something or yeah. something, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, um, and then finally it was like, did I say that on the show? They're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Episode two thirteen. I'm like, like oh, oh shit. okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That happened to me recently. Uh, we did that show with Dan Cummins up in Raleigh. Yeah, and uh, we he and I talked for like ten minutes about a bonding over an abortion with Casey Anthony. Yes, and people are like, oh, abortion bonding. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking? Oh, about? Oh yeah, I just say whatever. I don't research or do any fucking work no and and the beauty of this is like because the show keeps growing again it's up to like 5.7 million listeners with such a deep catalog people are going back and listening just cherry picking and listen to whatever episodes they want but i think it's because as this show has gone on over time from 2014 to now it's gotten worse in our culture about what you can and cannot say like what we could do in 2014 and we haven't changed so like this is just as horrific from day one as to day now. No, we're uh, probably like, only going to get worse because we have m- more access to celebrities and more money now. Yeah, yeah. So it's only going to get worse. <laughs> like everything is going downhill yeah. from here on out until we get arrested, I guess. I don't know what's yeah. going to happen. I remember when uh, supermodel, the supermodel, a- Angie Everhart, was on the show the other day and then she sat down in front of the signed O.J. Simpson jersey. Yeah. She was like, whoa, what the fuck am I walking into? And I was like, roll it. <laughs> 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 that's why we started putting the guest on the inside and I sit there so they can't escape. They can't leave. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's a good, Once that's a they're good here, they're here. Yeah. So tell me about your childhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it gets real <laughs> intense. Uh, so let me ask you, the, the, the porn star ever meets your parents? Because I know your mom no. is always just like, hey, man. No, we just, we just never made it down there. That's good. Yeah. Does she never know about it? No, she doesn't. I, I, f- I figured not. Uh, I mean, actually, I'm, I'm sure she does. Because my sister's got a big mouth. My sister did. Gotcha. So, yeah, she definitely Because I think my parents stopped yeah. listening to the show. Jenna, you got a big fucking mouth. Mm. <laughs> big, a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she about to have her third child? Well, fourth, fifth? Fourth? I don't know. That's all she does is like just pump out kids. Man, that's great. Are they rich? <laughs> uh, they're, she's in the Navy. Ah. Huh. Yeah. Right, well, man, that's uh, yeah. college is going to be. Kids. That's, yeah. I think she's got four, maybe three. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. How many kids yeah. do you have? Do you know that? Three. You're three. sure? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got three, three. children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's yeah. It. And, and you live well, with... Well, 2.4. Yeah. <laughs> and, that, and now you live, you live with a second ex-wife in, in the house you guys yeah. just bought, right? Oh, we, 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 have, we have space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's space. a big house. Yeah, it's a big house, yeah. 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 And then between them is a former MMA fighter. But I'm also yes. like, I'm, uh, I'm like kind of only temporarily there. So I'm going to stay there, mm-hmm. but... Come March, I'm gonna build uh, like a one of those cool shipping container like houses. Oh, that's, like, what, that's what's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. I'm gonna put that on the front end of the property, and that's where I'm gonna live. And the whole thing is, is her and I get along, but yes. I need to. We are so busy. Mm-hmm. I have to consolidate my like like things that I have to do. So it's like if they're across town or in another state or in another city or somewhere like that. That's just, hey, once a week, I'm going to have to fly there or drive there or something to, to see the kids and do things with the kids and stuff like that. It's like, why not just live across the road? You know, the, yeah. rock, the rock does it. Uh, Garth Brooks Fucking does Garth it. Brooks yeah, still Garth, does yeah, it. Yeah, like yeah. his. Yeah. He lives across the street. With yeah. They're on the compound. <laughs> yeah. They're on the compound. Yeah. You know what you could do? You could hire an actor that looks like you. Like, uh, what's her name from the help? Uh, Octavia Spencer. Octavia Spencer. She's an Oscar winner. Looks yeah. exactly like you. Oh, uh, that female looks like mid fifties yeah, black yeah. woman, yep. little heavy. Okay. Yeah. yeah, she looks All just right. like you. So right. hire yeah. her to be your kid's father, and then then you're done. You're good with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Charlotte recently uh, got to go on stage with Bad Wolves. Yep. Tommy vexed. I, her I, I saw that footage. They sang "Zombie" together. So it's. it's I'm really curious to just see. What Charlotte's going to be like as a teenager, especially no, like when no, it comes great. to dating no. and things like that. Like, She'll be on the pole at fifteen. No, yeah. no, because you think of the group that she, she, she's a, growing up with. You know, mm-hmm. she's growing up with Matt and me and all you guys and stuff like that. Like, yeah, nobody's going to be able to impress her. <laughs> no. Well, that happened to Paris Hilton too. And she, yeah. <laughs> She ended up not so great. Yeah. Uh, is she, is she yeah, in kindergarten? Parent, yes. Yes, she is. Uh, is oh, she's starting kindergarten. She already did. Oh, no shit. Yeah, she's on week two. Wow. Yeah. Wait, mine's, how early do kids week. start school now? Yeah, they're starting earlier and well, earlier. Yeah, Texas is uh, May to August, 
Whereas I know the West Coast is like June to September. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, man. Were you there for that? When? Uh, kindergarten. Did you no, take her to not, kindergarten? Not, not the first day. Gotcha. And how old is your youngest right now? Three. Three. Almost one. Okay. You're going to be four soon. Shit, yeah. dude. She's a, she's a small business owner. Oh, really? What does she own? I don't know. Lemonade? Made it up. Uh, yeah. she's, <laughs> she actually collects stones all around the property. And so she probably That's funny because I get stoned. <laughs> yeah. Every single day. The first thing I do. I don't know I if do. that's the same thing. No, it's the same. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's the same. I do it every morning. And then evening and... And, and then I, yeah, all day, yeah, it's, it's all day. All day. I think so. You're a smoker all day. I want, you know what? I want us to, I, I'm going to have the audience weigh on this to talk you guys into it. Sure. I think we should start making shorts, like 18 to 22 minute shorts. Oh, I thought you meant like no, 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 no. I mean like, let's, Short let's films. take, yes. Okay. We have the stuff to do it. We have the we know-how do. to do it. We do. And... We have the platforms to put them on if we load it to iTunes for $4 or $3 and stuff like that. Like, I, I don't understand why we just don't make f features anymore. I mean, we could if you want, but yeah. you know how much work that takes. We just need to do it. It does. Uh, let me ask you this. Rescue 16. Because that's... I that, would love to. That's the other thing we get... I would love to. ...crushed with probably 80 times a week. Um, do you think that's possible? Gathering up everybody together and, and doing that? I mean, if it was done. Like, like, honestly, well, the script is done. Yeah. I, I just mean like, yeah, I, I would be like, yeah, just make it like, like what has to happen. Like, like, I don't think we're going to do it like we did the first one where everybody weighs in and everybody has changes to make and everybody has sure. their stuff to write. No, I mean, I think if we did that, we just do it. Yeah. Like, and it's like, Hey, if you want to play your part, you can, or we could write you out of it. It's fine. Yeah, uh, I came I, up with the name anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of people don't know this. Like that that was your brainchild. And you oh, I've got saying, the yeah. original script called Zone Fifteen on yes. my fucking computer. Yep. the original, and, script and that was, was the one I got sent to me. Was Zone yeah. Fifteen? One hundred and twenty-seven yeah. pages mm -hmm. was the original, uh, and then you came in and knocked us down to eighty-eight. Yes, which was which was good because you proved to us. I mean, I remember the first uh, table the, read, the first time that you came to my house. Yeah, and. Uh, I didn't know like what our schedule was going to be or what we were going to do. And it was like, you put your shit down. And you were like, you have a place for us to sit. I was like, yeah, the table's right there. No. You open up your laptop. You said, get out your phone, put on the alarm or the, the timer. Stop. He goes, I want you to fucking hit start. And I want all of you guys to read this first scene. And when you hit stop, it was at 13 minutes and 48 seconds. Yeah. And you go, it's fucking too long. <laughs> you need to be out of the jail in 90 seconds and right then i was like you're crazy yeah we can't get out of the jail in 90 seconds what about this part what about this part what about this part you're like, uh, 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 uh. you start shelling it down and like now after making a movie i see like yeah we needed to be out of that jail in 90 seconds yeah <laughs> oh yeah absolutely absolutely i will say this like looking back at that film because everybody loves it like all of us get stopped and i don't know if you know this but all the all the big actors like shatner uh, it's the most asked about every over time they're and over, over and over. Are you going to do another? Ranger yes, scene? over and over and over again. <laughs> they always, you know, the Hodge twins were giving me shit about that recently. Oh, for Drinking Bros, yeah. Well, they're yeah. like, like guys are waiting after their show. Like they yep. just did a live comedy show, and they're like, "When are you guys going back on Drinking Bros, motherfucker? I'm, I'm the comedian." Yeah. <laughs> there, there isn't a place that I go where somebody doesn't scream out "Ooh!" Like in the in the background. And I'm like, yes, dude, Vandenham. Um, but uh, I, I think looking back at that movie now, I think it's exactly what you intended it to be from from the get go, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, we we took a lot. Like like there was a lot of things that I didn't want to change, but it was like I I understood the bigger picture. Yes. Like I understood that if you start arguing in some of those crucial plant with partners and things like that, this shit's never going to get made. Or yeah. be lo I mean that that was why Broken Lizard took so long to come out with Super Troopers too, right? Yeah. Like they yeah. had a they yeah. had an internal thing. I, I mean, mean, they did their we we had the same internal thing, but we just squashed it quicker. We were like, ah, no, no, we're just gonna go ahead and make this yeah. movie because we yeah. don't have a choice at that point. When we collected money from almost twenty two thousand people that are majority veterans and first responders, and said that we were going to make a movie, we got to make a fucking movie. I'm pretty sure and Broken, we got to get it out. Broken and Lizard did their crowdfund for Super Troopers 2 in 2014, and it didn't... Same, same. It was, yeah. it was literally two yeah, months it was the same, prior to yes. and it. And it didn't come out until April of two last year. Two years later, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. four years later. Four, it yeah. came out yeah. in April of last years. year. Jesus yeah. We had already been out for two years. Yeah. Like, uh, how was it, uh, I wonder? Did you guys see it? It was, it was okay. all right. It was, I mean, yeah, it was, it was okay. all right. 
I think the TV show that Lemmy's yeah, on now. That one, TV show's great. That one is f- yeah. fucking Lemmy and Farva, the, or what, I don't know, his, I can't remember his uh, name. Tacoma name. FT, and it, it already yeah, got Tacoma picked FT. up for a season two. Yeah, it's good. It's really, really good. good. And Jamie Kaler's on it, our buddy Jamie Kaler's mm-hmm. on it. I would have, I mean, to change it, like, I really wanted, the, the, uh, the documentary release was super not what I designed it to be, because I, I had built all of that. I said, hey... Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to hire, you know, I had this whole packet. We're going to hire a third, fourth unit to do a documentary on Mm -hmm. this. Here's the director of that. Here's this. Here's this. And my release plan was the doc getting put out 30 days prior to the movie dropping. The whole portion of that was to get everybody amped about the movie, about the movie. Because again, like if you think about the way movies are marketed, it's, it's kind of dumb. It's like you, we dropped a trailer in March. Mm Mm-hmm. It got 5 million views. Yeah. Everybody was stoked. And then we don't drop the movie until middle June. Everybody's forgotten about it now. There's yeah. no fucking ampness. I mean, I always said, I if we do another movie, we drop the trailer the day it comes out. So the first time you see the trailer, at the end of that trailer, it says, buy now. Fuck. How many times would you love that? Like, oh, there's a new fucking Fast and Furious 40. Right. I could get it right now. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. I had, there's two schools of thought to it. Because, uh, look, studio wise, they always tell you three months, three to four months, drop yeah, a trailer what and, data then, do and they then have go. That? Like, because nobody's ever tried. You know, it's getting the, in people's minds, and you're, and you're also getting it used to theaters. And I will say this with, but you're with also Range 15. Dealing, like, if you're, you're talking in studio, you're dealing with somebody that the second it comes out, they're dumping $20 million into traditional advertising correct, at yeah. minimum yeah. to get people in theater seats. We can't do that. Yeah, so that, that PA need, is high. You're right. We need right. to fucking hold on to that. The every single person that we get to watch that trailer, we have to fucking hold them. Yeah. Like, yeah. And how do we do that? Well, like, I mean, it's a marketing funnel, really. It depends on where you're going. So the the original ones are meant for branding plays, mm-hmm. right? So at the top of the funnel, if you're thinking about a funnel like this, all this stuff up here is a branding thing. It's just like. It takes three to five impressions for most people in advertising to make a conversion, which is a purchase. Right. So uh, the first thing they see is a teaser. Then they see maybe a fucking image of it somewhere on a billboard. Then they see two or three more things. So the three months makes sense to me. Yeah, and then the actual trailer. And uh, yeah. that, look, Apple's doing it right now with that uh, Jennifer Aniston, Reese right. Witherspoon thing. But if you're, if you're advertising to saying... a... No, no, no. Well, let, me, let me finish. If you're advertising to a warm audience like we were, because mm-hmm. all these people knew what the fuck it was already, yeah. you don't bother with this stuff up at the top of the funnel because it's wasting money. You start down here. So what he's saying, I would have released the, the trailer maybe a month before and then start doing... I wouldn't start doing any other advertising until the day it was available. No, it makes sense for for that yeah, reason. Because day of, like I would say, everybody imagine, already imagine knew. the Avengers Endgame trailer drops, and at the end of that, it says, "Watch now." Yeah, because you don't have to what advertise. All you have to do conversion. Like all Marvel, have? all Marvel has to do is say that the movie's coming out. They don't have to put out shit. Everybody's gonna be like, "Oh fuck, this fucking movie's coming out." You don't have to play any of these. And then they giant surprise you with the trailer and say it's available now on yeah. iTunes. I Can you imagine I, that? Oh, man, I can't. I, I, mean, mean, I, I would I would look at how many active users have iTunes accounts like well for the for and, for those guys it would be difficult because the the film has to go out to so many different fucking movie theaters and shit well, so mm-hmm. it'd be super hard too, to keep yeah. it quiet right there's just no way you'd be able to keep it quiet but you could like Probably, you could yeah. send it out there and just randomly release it on a fucking Tuesday yeah like who gives a shit yeah who cares what I look do? I told nobody's Matt. gonna beat Avatar anyway no well and Avatar 2 is gonna come out and it's gonna it's crush already, every yes, other record they've pushed it for two years already so they've got problems well we'll see Cameron's got his problems on that fucking thing is he gonna be alive he's like in his mid, late 60s that's now, the right? weird thing so I think they, they shot four back to back and it just got pushed another two years yeah they so shot like, four what Four, four avatars. Movies. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. There's going to be four avatars. Well, I mean, it's mostly CGI. Like, all, yeah. all the real work is in post. I don't think... I, I think but they've been doing it for years, man. Well, they had, like... Uh, I think they had, like, 30 shoot days. I don't know. Per, God. per, per yeah. episode or per movie. So it's, like, 30 shoot days per movie, which is... That's not that bad. But I, yeah. was, talking, I was talking to some, some guys in San Diego when we were down there. Movie people, our movie friends and mm-hmm. stuff like that. They said, everybody is now pulling a lot of their feature scripts and trying to go back and do eight to 10 episodic fucking like Netflix. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Everybody wants longer because yeah. fucking the theatrical film now is all China. No, yeah. you can't do comedy. You Correct. can't do, you can barely do drama and fucking without, it's uh, gotta be action. Yeah, barely. Now. Yeah. And, and you get more money action. from TV. 
So yeah. if you're able to stretch it, you know, you're able to double that paycheck over and over and over again. So uh, speaking of doubling the paycheck, let's get to the sponsors. Whoa. Who pay for this whole shit wagon and be on the air, when, when is this going to air? When is this episode going to air? Monday. 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 So, yes, we will be uh, actually in, uh, recovering the from book a tour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, recovering from the, the, the party in Orlando, which I'm sure is going to be epic. I'll be getting a penicillin shot. Yes. And AIDS test? No, I don't care about that. Pregnancy test? I might do one of those, yeah. Okay. Just to see. I do one every two or three years just to see if I've switched. Because you don't know. No, you don't. You never this, know. Look, There's it's some... never happened before, but only 40 people have been recorded to have their dick turn into bone, like that guy we talked about on the news last yeah. week. Yeah. Only 40 people out of 7.8 billion. Yep. So you could be the first person to just like randomly your gender change. I, and and I want to know. Yeah, exactly. You don't you don't you want to know if there's a little baby up inside yeah, of you. A little you know? baby. Yeah, a little baby up inside of you. If you're making babies out there, do it on a ghost bed. Go to ghostbed.com forward yeah, slash yeah. drinking bros today for the finest mattress in the planet. They get ghost pillows, adjustable bases, sheets, cooling covers. Uh, and if your cat pukes on it, they've even got a cover for that so it doesn't ruin the mattress. <laughs> Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today, where if you were military or first responder, they take an extra 15% off of all your shit, dude. Bottom of the page, you scroll, you click it, and then you're out of there, dude. Uh, if you're a regular human like myself, uh, they get $200 off the Ghost Lux mattress, a free pillows with uh, a mattress purchase. Uh, but and now always, as always, they get a 36 months pay as you go, no interest program. No one's doing that other than the fine folks at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. D'Anthony, who do we got next? Oh, man. Let's see. Let's go Raycon. Ah, buy Raycon.com forward slash drinking bros. These are the finest headphones there is. If you're subscribed to the YouTube, we've, we've got them up on the thing here. Uh, Ray J was supposed to be on the show. He's going to be a guest in Dallas, actually. But yeah. uh, due to the, uh, the nature of the book taking over the entire world yeah uh, we, had, we had to push this we apologize ray j we're going to catch up with him in in los angeles but uh he was the only one that stepped up and we said look we need a headphone company we need a headphone company on the show beats by dr dre had yeah. said no discount for anybody uh these guys stepped up at buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros knocked them down from 70 to 50 uh, when do we you know use the, the promo code over there? no but we know it's snoop dogg and cardi b and those guys so would, i'd love to have snoop dogg well on the show. i just i just want to no, i'm a, i want to go work with their engineers about developing a true wireless non -de, non-delay headphone system for podcasting i know it'd be yeah. great because right now these are wire these are the best wireless in the biz but you get about, you recharge uh, them in a box you get about a five millisecond delay if you go wireless I correct was, i was i was on podcast with it, yeah. uh, a couple weeks ago trying yeah. to see if i could if i could trick it uh technology is not there yet oh you know but what but i might find a solution i was getting may, close you may but uh technology is here if you want to uh charge these up for five hours straight and uh go for a run uh, yeah buy raycon.com forward slash drinking bros i recommend raycon i do not recommend running for five hours no yeah yeah no. i wouldn't run for five hours i wouldn't run so. for any amount of time to be honest i i, I would I, I would only run from you <laughs> mm. <laughs> Last but not least, who do we got, D'Anthony? D'Anthony. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, oh what is, yeah. what is a little black that? rifle coffee. Dot that? com. By the way, the club is heating up. Yes, Jared, like, tell us about it. The like we released a product last week that was, or last month that was awesome. It was uh, these really cool board shorts. And oh dude, yeah, those, those are only, only the club members got them. Yes, because yeah. everybody was asking why I can't you use the promo code. Well, I thought you could, but you you can't. Is this you got to be a member, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be a member to get the board shorts. Yeah. So because you guys are uh, uh, doing things big, doing things it's ramping right, up. It's and ramping doing up. things. Uh, Evan and Matt and uh, our new VP of marketing, uh, Mr. Michael Land, mm -hmm. the previous CEO of Novesky. Uh, Those shorts came, are fucking came from dope, DC too. shoes. Yeah. Like they are coming up with some cool stuff. Yeah, like, I'm excited. Uh, like, yeah, seeing seeing the product development workflow and team and Evan like back in his element in designing cool shit. Fucking awesome. Yeah, you guys so, are killing it, man. Uh, Drinking Bros twenty for twenty percent off or uh, summer dog summer dog summer dog for twenty percent off. If you're, if you're using me, 
Yeah, it is. Uh, and then this is a quick update because we're live on air. We're recording this a little bit in advance because uh, the travel, we're traveling down to Orlando yep, yep, for the live yep. shows uh, this weekend. Uh, Matt Best Book, thank you for my service, uh, is out now. Uh, you have one more day to, to make it count for the best bestseller list. Currently, by the way, this is live because we're live on air. It is number two in the world on Amazon. Well, we got right one now. more hour and then we get to refresh. One more, yeah. Uh, there's only one book ahead of it. Man, that would be a fucking massive deal right now. That is crazy. That'd be huge. Yeah. Uh, man, that's, that's uh, hard to believe. Yeah. To be honest with you. There's, there's over 6 million books on Amazon. And uh, this is number two in the world. That is past Michelle Obama's book. Um, that's blown amazing. Past it. Amazing. Whew. Well, that's... we got the cruise coming up, gentlemen. Yes. Uh, oh. let's, let's, ta- let's talk about it. Uh, mm. There's a couple slots left. Some, some folks were uh, deployed. Yep. Yep. to Iran due to their fuckery late. So there, there's a couple slots left if you're listening to this and want to go on it. Uh, what's shaking out on there? Uh, Danny Warsnop keeps hitting me up. Everybody's excited for this. Yeah. I can't fucking wait for the cruise. It's going to be fun. I feel like, like this summer really has literally just been kind of like plodding along to yeah. get to the fucking cruise. Yeah, that's going to be a great show. Uh, we're not going to be recording that show. so it's uh, Why be, not? I mean, we could, I guess. No, I say I mean, we record it, but uh, we treat it like... I think fucking, it should be special we, to we the treat people it, that bought the Yeah, cruise. we treat it like the nuclear football, and that thing has to be under security at all times. <laughs> yeah. Because who the fuck knows what's going to happen in this goddamn show? <laughs> I we have to marry oh two couples. God, so the, really, the, the first night that you come to see our show, the first act is us... Marrying, marrying yeah. a couple. Yeah. And honestly, uh, I'm which... going to try to have a threesome with one of those couples that are getting married. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn. Yeah. What about prima nocturne rights? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we can. Or, or, or why don't you wait until the marriage is done and then you issue a home gun? <laughs> <laughs> the crazy part about it to me is uh so the the couples who are getting married their families are coming on the yes oh, oh oh shit yeah. and they have no idea what drinking bros is that can't or be right that's why would real. you why would you expose your parents to that <laughs> yeah yeah oh, that's man. that's where you're choosing to get married well actually huh? i did i do need to track down the second couple so the first couple did send me i made them write a history like a, a, they send me a word document of the okay. history because we got to know. Them. Like yeah, for, yeah. for me to write the sermon, sure, I have to. Are you going to dress it. like a sheriff like you did the last wedding we performed? I don't know. I don't know how. Wait, I'm you performed a wedding? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't know. I've done this right? before. I yeah. wrote the whole thing too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I was, I was like, supposed to be there, but I ended up working. But he was uh, was in Colorado, right? Yeah. And Colorado. you were dressed up like a sheriff. I was dressed. I, so I went. You know that they did all the costumes for uh, Tombstone in El Paso. So I walked into that place. I did not know I that. I said, make me Doc Holliday. Like, yeah. Like movie quality. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because, and the whole reason I did this is because I asked the couple that I was marrying, I was like, what do you want me to wear? And they go, oh, whatever you want. I go, don't tell me that. Yeah, that's yeah. bad. Yeah, no. that's bad news. They were like, whatever you want. Okay. Went full sheriff. No full way. Full Doc Holliday. Badge. I had a gun. A fucking <laughs> bullets in my belt. That's great. Like, and... uh I, so I, how did the wedding go? Great. It did it really? Fun. Oh, the pictures are hilarious. And they had a good time? Yeah, they had a blast. That's yeah. fucking... How many people were there? Uh, maybe 150. Holy shit. That's yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, it was a big one. Man. It was fun. And was they really trusted fun. you with that in front of yeah, 150. Yeah. I, think, I wrote a pretty good one. Like, I had... Because I've known them for a long time. Oh, you have? Okay, so that was my I, next question. I, well, there weren't I had strangers. a lot though. of good jokes. Like, you know exactly who they are. I do? Yeah. Who are they? Oh, Paula Mann. Really? Paula. No shit. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I feel like uh, for this one. Paula and Dave. Yeah. You should, I didn't know that. You yeah. should show up dressed like Captain Ron for this one. Oh, my God. Actually, that's or, a really good one. Oh, or Captain Ron or, is great. Yeah. Or a Somali pirate in blackface. Uh, a little too much on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could release those wedding photos <laughs> to the world. This is our minister. He's in blackface. Yeah, he's in blackface. <laughs> oh, who is he? Uh, you remember that guy from the Tom Hanks movie? He was going very Somali pirate for this one. Uh, I'm the captain now. He kept saying it on the cruise ship to people. Um, I think when we get on the cruise, every time you walk by, everybody's got to say, all, all, all hail Lord Hot Dog. Everybody's got to say that. Uh, then I got to find the Lord Hot Dog jacket. Is there, is there a jacket? Yeah. Yeah, there's a coat. And then I also had a, a full, like, like, professional Jack Sparrow wig made. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, it's done. It's really nice. Is that, is that real? It's expensive. Yeah, it's, it's 680 God bucks. damn it, dude. Shut yeah, the I had a, fuck I had a real up. costume designer build me Jack Sparrow's wig. 
No way. Yeah. Six hundred and eighty dollars. All the fucking beads, braids, and the, everything. The fucking dreadlocks, everything. It's beautiful. So oh, are you gonna God, are you gonna hilarious. like not take a shower for the two no, weeks no, no, before? No, no, no. But the first two days on the cruise, if you see me, I'll be dressed like a full blown pirate. Ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> Just drinking rum <laughs> yeah. everywhere you go. Yeah, I, I've got the, the 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 walk. You know. Have you talked to the guy? Does he have any idea like who we are and what we do and all that shit? Oh yeah, I mean he's the one that. That set this whole thing up. He yeah, so out, he knows yeah. where yeah, he's he just reached like, out hey, to man. us, and then he's the biggest guy in the game. You know, he does Adam Carolla's cruises. Yeah, and he everything. does. Yeah, so like, uh, he's he's been giving me a lot of good advice. About I, the whole I thing. think so. He you're, says you're, that our audience is the perfect size. He says Adam will not go. Um, he or, cuts it or, off at two hundred, or, or yeah, majority of the acts yeah. cut it off at around two hundred. Yeah, because they like. The, the personal, intimacy of yeah, it, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of we're going to be a little bit bigger than that, but I think because of who our audience is, it'll be fine. It's going to be rowdy. Same, yeah. and we hang and drink. So, yeah, like, yeah. I'm actually amped, and, and this is not only fun, but a vacation, and, and, and to get to meet everyone. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, I mean, it's going to be, again, like, we fucking hosted a cruise. I know. That's fucking crazy. On Carnival. Like, because you start, you start looking at our, I mean, we hosted a fucking music festival four, yeah. three, four years ago. I know. What was it? Like, yeah, yeah. Like a rock concert. <laughs> now we fucking have a cruise. Like, it's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome, though. Yeah, you were the, a book was written. Movies were made. Like, I know. I Jesus mean, Christ. This, this a hit, coffee company. Hit, yeah, it hit us in the face. Company. Me and Matt were flying. With somebody sitting in the row, and she turns and is like, "What do you guys do?" And we both look at each other like, I don't, "How do you?" I don't fucking people know. ask me that now, and I'm like, know. "I don't know what to tell you." I, I, mean, I, I don't. don't, yeah. I don't do, we don't really <laughs> do anything, to be honest. We just <laughs> act like idiots, and it, it's a lot. There's a lot that goes on behind oh, yeah. the scenes. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard, hard to explain. explain. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even my producer reel now is is you got Helen Keller versus Nightwolves. Yep, Range 15, not a war story. Drinking Bros Live. Drinking Bros Shit, Live. Really? Action Figures 2. Yeah. Like I, oh, I, yeah. Have, I have five different credits on Action Figures yeah. 2. Yeah. I did all the graphics, the animation, the titling. like uh, Shit. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, man. In, yeah. in such a short amount of time. Then a cruise. Which is funny because back in the day uh, when we were in the military together, people would always be like, what are you fucking around with those cameras for? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> and he and, I would, he, he and I would be making short videos talking shit to people on random internet sites that we yeah, didn't even know. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, we're doing it <laughs> Eating for... cheese yeah. and like fucking... Like we would just join back in the day in 2007 when there was like internet forums. Like yeah. you, any 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 walk of life that you lived you could join an internet forum yeah, yeah. for and we would join really obscure ones and fuck with them yeah like yeah. and and just make shitty videos and all this shit and fuck with people all the time and, and everybody shit. was like what are you guys like, doing this weekend oh we're uh, gonna make some videos she just watched <laughs> drunken debrief my drunken debrief oh, the yeah. other day it's all like we were trolling an entire battalion of infantrymen in the middle by of a making war zone, yeah. campaign posters with him <laughs> for fucking bob mayor yep <laughs> like this is hilarious. what we do to entertain ourselves and like 13 years later we're still doing it we're still now doing we're getting something. paid to do it right? And, right. and at Very a much different. larger yes. scale yeah <laughs> uh, a cruise the so, feedback is great like i love i love my instagram just because i make the fucking most insane shit i can come up with and then I just get to see what people thought about. Yeah. It. And then you move on about your day yeah. and you're like, That's like right, oh, cool. Okay, this was funny. You've got like a hundred thousand followers now. Close. That's yeah. fucking crazy, man. Yeah. Uh, on this cruise, let me ask you the over under. Um, I say five people don't make it back from when we dock in Mexico. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I think people are going to get house that day. A lot of people were talking about going to that local resort that's there. I can't yeah, know what yeah, it's yeah. called. It looks like there's a bunch doing the all you can drink. It's like $60, yeah, yeah, all yeah. you can eat. And all we're you can only drink. there for one day. And we're <laughs> yeah. out. So. And I got to tell you, if you've never been on a cruise before, they do they not leave. wait. Yeah, they leave. They're oh, gone. Yeah. They don't it's, wait. So. Yeah. And I think one person jumps off the cruise mid I don't think drive. Look, no, I, oh. look, what happened when we were at the Army Navy game? Do you remember that? No. And you remember a guy stuffing a fucking jello shot up his ass? Yes, he definitely jello did. jello shots up his asshole. He did. Uh, we, we should put it out. Don't jump off the... Don't, don't, don't street bike Tommy no, yourself. No, no. Don't street bike Tommy yourself. No. Yeah, don't. 
Don't jump because up. we would like a second cruise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, is there rotor wash? How does that work? Do you get caught up in it's the so thing deep underneath? underneath the, it. I don't know. You would yeah. you would break your fucking legs dropping into the thing yeah, unless you had something tall. to break the surface really tension tall. of the water. I saw yeah. somebody doing on barstool the other day, and that's what gave me. I was like, Tommy. Oh, I think it's probably Tommy. Was it? Yeah, really? Tommy, Tommy. Tommy showed me a video one, one time. Yeah, like he did it. For, it was in New Jersey, for, right? Uh, no, it was it was in Florida. Oh, it was in Florida. Yeah. He oh, that's right. Like holy shit. He asked to be in the first Nitro Circus. Yeah. movie when it was just called the nitro circus mm. and great Some, godfrey gave him a camera it's one of our first uh launch code episodes he tells this whole yeah. story and he's like all right i'm gonna go jump off a of fucking somebody cruise ship. standing on the pier video well, he jumped and off see him like and the cruise ship kind of has a fucking cant to it so as he was falling he hits the fucking side of the cruise ship and just starts flipping oh my God, dude. <laughs> and like bruises himself oh, yeah. from his face to his ankles so like, if you are gonna jump off make sure you clear the bottom of the hole. Let's just not sure. jump off. How about that? I'm, Let's I, I agree. Uh, I agree. You know, don't for jump America, off. Don't jump off. <laughs> but if you're going to jump off, <laughs> eh, if you're going to jump off, give it a gozies. Probably give it don't. A, probably no. don't do it. No, don't do it. Uh, uh, look, look up surface tension and what that means for water jumping at high, uh, at, at like fucking really high like that. Yeah. And watch people get their legs broken and then don't do it. Yeah, they, they definitely, definitely don't yeah. do it. Because we don't want you guys to get hurt. But I have a feeling we're going to need a vacation from this vacation. That's how hard it's going to oh, go. Oh, that's the fucking most dad thing you've ever said. No. In your life. So I, I you read. Know what? Her, I don't. I, I, I'll tell you this. I'm I, going opposite of, of him. I read an article. Uh, Kid Kid Rock does a cruise every year. Yeah, yeah, but that is. And he and they were like, dude. Afterwards, he's shut down for weeks after that because he's he goes that fucking hard on the cruise. Yeah, that's how hard I'm going on this. Thing. Oh, you are. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, give me one. Wait day until to bounce back. Wait until you see your rooms. Then you're gonna be like, you know what? Oh, I've seen them. Easy. You know, if you go on YouTube and put in your room number, like Carnival Cruise, the type of ship it is, and the room number, it, there's you for almost every room I looked at because I just started punching in random numbers. There's yeah. a whole fucking tour of that. Really? Room. Yes. Yeah. Carnival's got shit on lock. Oh, I yeah. did. I did something special for his room. Oh, shit. did you really? Yeah, you? Did. Rose I petals? Did. Uh, no, no, actually, uh, uh, handicap bars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. You put handicap bars in. I got in you the... a handicap room. Oh God. <laughs> My poor wife, dude. Every every time she's be like, "Is this gonna be a nice thing?" And I'm like, "No, no, no, no. no. Probably you, not. You still have the best room. It just it just has, has handicap has bars looks. every single. Yeah. Can you get Can you get him to like leave a wheelchair out front? Oh yeah. So I, I can yell wheelchair. Should, I, oh, I think he should have. We we need to make a bet, and whoever loses the bet has to be wheelchair bound through the whole cruise. Oh. oh <laughs> I'm a fan of that. Jesus. That's I'm a funny a huge one. Huge fan of that. Like, yeah, that's a funny one because also too, like you're you're double drinking it. You've always got a chair. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If and you if the wheelchair, wheelchair has cup holders, I'll probably I might do that without a bet. Probably. Yeah. If you wheel me around and it has cup holders, I'll do that. And then we decorate it on the back. It says "stupid oh fuck." Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But make sure it's done like with glitter or something. Oh, I don't yeah, want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I want it to be fabulous. Uh, it's it's Matt Best. Should we answer it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it on speaker in that. Matthew, we're recording Drinking Bros. Oh. You're live. Awesome. You were number oh, two. Wow. Hey, since we're live on air, I we literally oh. just announced this uh, maybe five minutes ago. You're currently number two on Amazon. Oh, I just refreshed it. Yes, I see that. Wow, okay. There is only one ahead of you, Matthew. So uh, if you finish it second again, dude, this would be not, crazy. It's not looking good because I went to the bookstore and they weren't carrying my book here in New York and they had 1,900 copies of that book. But anyways, I'll let you guys back to the episode. I was calling for uh, to square away some people with some signed uh, signature stuff to make sure that we take care of all of the people that support the book. So hit me up after the show. Absolutely, will do. Uh, by the way, it, look, New York is super liberal. That does not speak for any bookstore in America, though. Because <laughs> here in, in Wilmington, North Carolina, the, they were fully stocked. And, uh, and also Atlanta, Georgia, my parents bought them uh, at Barnes & Noble today as well. Awesome. Well, keep kicking ass, and you guys have a great show. Thanks, All right, man. love you, buddy. We'll call you in a minute. Wait, can I ask the, like, the Drinking Bros podcast guys questions? Yeah, yeah you go ahead. <laughs> How big? <laughs> How big do you want to know? <laughs> All right, you guys have a good show. <laughs> love you, buddy. <laughs> wow, you heard it straight from uh, Matt Best right there. They're not carrying it in New York. Yeah. Um, I don't. It, to, to be fair, though, I don't think they carried my book in New York either. 
I, thought, what I, I walked in. They're not carrying it? No. And I, I thought remember, he said just that they had 1,900 copies. No, 1,900 of copies book. of the other book, the child's yeah. book. Oh. Um, but I, that happened to me as well. I was, I was amped because, look, look, our publisher is out of New York. Uh, our, our agent and all that shit is out of New York. And I was amped to go to like my bookstore in New York and buy it. And uh, they didn't have it. And I was like, fuck you guys, man. Uh, yeah. They're, they're only, they're, they're picky and choosy there of like, hey, this is what they're we're going to cover. Uh, Rappaport, Michael Rappaport went through the same thing. And so he went on his Instagram yeah. and just said, hey, fuck this store in New York City. I am New York. I'm the king of New York. They should be carrying my fucking book. Uh, and after a week, they finally got copies of it. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's just a, a that's a stupid purchaser mistake. You know it is, I mean? yeah. yeah. That's dumb. Like, you're a bookstore. Do you want money? I know, right? Like, I know. Do you I want know. money? I know. Like, that makes it more. If you're in, if you're in a liberal area, go to the, your fucking local bookstore and request a copy. They'll have yeah. to order it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking, and like, then get angry. Yeah, how the hell wouldn't you carry this? It's yeah. fucking number two right now. I know. That's yeah. it's number two in the world. I think. I think because it was also such a surprise. Uh, because look, publishers put out their list of like, hey, we think this yeah. is going to do well. This is going to do well, and then uh, boom, this comes out of nowhere and and absolutely destroys them. They should have known, but uh, they did not, and now they're learning. <laughs> now they're learning and if you were on that cruise by the way and we are number one holy shit forget it dude we may have it's gonna be fun we may like, have an olive garden installed inside the I, cruise. i would oh, I like it. to i would, I would like to say this now i do want to sit down with you guys before we head out and design a couple deck games you know uh, maybe some sort of some, oh yeah something, some some contest that we could do a, to, a to mini play. award show like a drinking bros cruise award show like, i'd be great we should yeah, do a superlative maybe, show or like a, a gong show where we sit in a row and we make them entertain us oh god <laughs> <laughs> you have you you have you have until the that, cruise to come up with your act <laughs> that is a really good oh, idea. boy i know you better go on a cruise but we also need to be entertained yeah, we, come we on up. you to entertain us that is a really good idea and now that I, look i've been looking forward to this all summer I'm, I'm glad it's getting closer and closer and closer and it's just like very cool because uh, we leave September twelfth, yeah, uh, and yeah. then back on what sixteen or seventeen? The boat, or yeah, the sixteenth. The no. boat 16th, leaves so. at three thirty. I'm gonna put together a, in the uh, afternoon. Uh, yes, I'll oh, be gonna put shit. together like a uh, I like a schedule itinerary for all of us. Give it, give it out to everybody so everybody knows where and when to be, why, all that stuff. We got the VIP stuff sent out. I think maybe we'll we'll print out. Uh, we'll bring some posters and yeah. stuff like that because I guarantee you know they'll want to take posters home or have something to. To, to bring back from it so we'll get yep. things set up for it yeah and by the way uh this is with danny Worse not playing because he's going to do some acoustic stuff i yeah. i we happen to be in the same city in akron ohio yeah of all I places a, a couple months ago so we got to interview him for the show uh one of the greatest people on the on the planet the guy is so goddamn talented god if you're fuck. on this cruise ship and you get to see this dude play acoustic in it front is, of 200 people it, or it's crazy or it's mind-boggling yeah. to me um, and you're, I'm you're never going to see a show like that again no, with, that, with that small of an audience no. ever yeah. in your life. No, because yeah. uh, typically asking Alexandria plays for fucking 30,000 people. Yeah. So yeah. between um, six and 38,000 people is like, <laughs> man, that's going to be a blast. And now you're going to be in a room with, you know, 200. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people asking if we're going back to Army Navy this year. Oh, yeah. We're oh, going. fuck. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. our that's our jam. We're going to get we're going to take it from Barstool. Year. Yeah, yeah. Barstool just doesn't do. I mean, they they had a little crowd out there, but it wasn't why don't any... we approach them to just say, "Hey, let us have Army Navy, please," and we'll, we'll, <laughs> or you know, host, or bring, host your show. Bring, bring, yeah, bring the same stage. I actually you like this guys. to us. I yeah, like the guys. We do like the guys that do their uh, uh, Zero Block Thirty show. They're, mm -hmm. they're all cool guys. Are they? We should yeah. reach. I'm surprised they've never yeah. had you guys on. To be know, honest with you, weird. yeah, yeah, it's weird because uh, that, that's been on for a while, and they're pretty. They're pretty big. Uh, I think they see us all as competitors i i, I don't i don't we understand. don't see them I don't either i don't yeah. see that mindset. like not no, that like, even even if they are competitors you my brain steal, doesn't work that way well it doesn't matter like you co-opt uh, audience. yeah you don't steal a listener no nobody goes you know what i'm done listening to this show i'm gonna listen to no this they show. listen they to go, both shows oh i want to listen to both yeah, yeah. for sure uh because there, there's people we listen to like graham and fucking jocko yeah. and all those yeah. guys that are great and it's just like hey fucking crazy fuck i don't look we don't look at anybody as competition no. it's just Nobody's like men not allowed to come on and fucking chat with no us. and there's a there's enough content to go around forever uh let's talk about episode 500 jaren uh, a lot of people ask do who, we know who what our, the date is going to be who our that? guest is we we don't we've got a rough idea uh i really would love post malone because i'm a huge 500? fan 
Oh, I'm just brainstorming 500 right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 500 episodes. <laughs> what could we come? What could we come up with for that? Well, for 100, we had two people, two strangers who had never met before, have sex. Uh, so a lot of people want us to have a guest. A lot of people, you know, want everybody back together. What are your thoughts on it? I want Post Malone. I fucking love Post yeah, Malone. Yeah, but that could be any episode. Like, could I mean, yeah, doing a doing an OG like like three hour special. Bring Rocco back. Sit Bert, everybody. Bert Koontz. Yeah, yeah, in a line, and we start. You know, five drinks deep. Oh yeah, yeah. So we we're like we come go. from the bar right into the show. Yeah. We should all get in recliners and have them three on each side facing each other, and we're just drinking whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. neat and smoking cigars yeah. the whole time. Yeah, and wearing then, a smoking jacket. Wearing a smoking jacket, just having the fucking show of the century. Make it super classy. Yeah, because yeah. we're super classy dun, 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 people. Dun, dun, yeah, dun, we're, we're dun, always dun, super dun, classy. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and then maybe get some of our dun, favorite dun, guests dun, back. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Marcus Luttrell was one of my favorites oh, yeah, with, absolutely. The, with the pet giraffes absolutely. in his backyard. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, uh, Charlie Classic is always good. Yes, he's always good on the show. Derek White is always good on the show. Me and, and, me and Charlie Marcus just were finished Marcus, yeah. throwing down some rank bobber skits. Rob O'Neill was a blast on the yeah, show. Yeah, Rob's great. Yeah. Fuck, we had we had a blast with that guy afterwards. Uh, he was rad. Uh, what, who's your personal uh, favorite guest? We haven't gone on yet, Dan. That we haven't had on the show. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I don't even know. I'd like to get OJ on, honestly. Um, I, Same. I know so, we, some people we, bitched we, about that though we, when we, we said that. We joke a lot about it, but I would love to have him on because I want to fucking go hard after this guy. I don't think he would sit for yeah, it. Is the problem? Yeah. Well, yeah. he's seventy three years old, so he's gonna have to get by me to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you've seen the Hertz commercials, man, he could probably hurdle you. Yeah, that was sixty years ago, Ross. Well, have you seen the crime scene uh, photos? He could probably <laughs> murder you. So, <laughs> OJ oh, would be man. fun to have on. He, I mean, he just did a podcast. It you know would that, just right? be wild as fuck. You know what I mean? Ugh. Like we we've we've met so many people. There's very few people that are out of reach for us if we wanted to hang out with them or meet Dude, them. Dude, I, I love the Hodge twins. Fuck, Same man. man. Yeah, they're funny when yeah. I had dinner with them the other day, like, we were in tears, like, the entire time. They're fucking like, funny, man. And just, la it, like, they're, they are, like, between them and Charlie was with me, yeah. so now it's, like, me, Charlie, and the Hodge twins. It's, like, there wasn't, you couldn't breathe at that fucking yeah. table. I we mean, were that, laughing so that's, hard. That's the same like, with me. I want the experience at this point. Like I don't, I don't get yeah. starstruck anyways. But I've yeah. already, we've, we've met so many but people. Those guys are so fucking yeah. funny. Somebody that's super so funny, talented, yeah. or super so fucking funny. crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alex Jones things. would be fun. Yeah, oh, Alex Jones would be God great. God damn it, that would be I'd awesome. Love to have him. Same. Uh, the reason why I said Post Malone, I'm always fascinated with people who are at their white hottest moment. And then asking them about what that's like at that time. Because usually it's a fucking blur and you want to know what's going on inside their mind. Yeah, but I think a guy like him, you would have said that about Taylor Swift probably, what, five years ago? But she's still white hot. She's yeah. been white hot for that whole time. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if it's going to be like that for him. Too. Dude, it's just tiring, It's hard. Man. It's, hard it's, to tiring. Stay, it's hard to stay like, on top like even, that. Yeah. Even just us, you know, we're at fucking a fraction of that. And I don't have, I, I, I don't even know when the next day is that I have to do nothing. Right. Yeah. Like, it's like, no, no, I got that, got that. And then I'm forgetting things that I fucking committed Oh, yeah, to. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, and that's the worst because you feel like a dick. Yeah, you're like, just oh, like, oh, no, 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 shit. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I wouldn't yeah. mind having uh, Prince Harry on. Oh, that would be, that would be phenomenal. Because he was a JTAC before he got yeah. reclassed. And then he was a Apache pilot. Yeah. And I know all the people he worked with. So him and I would have See, a he did Jared's. Oh, you guys have a blast he, together. He did Jared's job. And then they found out he was getting deployed to Afghanistan. It became public. And they were like, mm -hmm. no, fuck that. No. no he, yeah, he was like, did do my job in country. Like, yeah, he yeah. He was there for like, what, and then, three months or something? Yeah. And they fucking pulled, they pulled him back. Yeah. It was Shit. bullshit, yeah. Yeah, he'd be a blast having this. He yeah. wouldn't do this fucking show. <laughs> not he now. might, dude. He's Maybe a fucking four or veteran. five years ago he may have done it, but not now. I would like to see uh, Trump, too. I'd like, I'd like to see uh, DJT fun. on here and do yeah. Donald. Uh, that, that'd be a fun one, man. Yeah. Uh, and really? I think he actually would do the show. Probably. Yeah. Uh, right, right around that election time, I think we should hit him up. Yeah. And be yeah. like, hey, man, let's, uh, we, know, we know a lot of people in the yeah. camp. He'd yeah. be, I think he'd be a blast to get well, on the his, show. Uh, Junior, he wants to come on the show. We just haven't been able to fucking coordinate yet because he's all over the place. Now the campaign started, so he's even more busy. Yeah. Well, I know, I know this. He'll be coming to North Carolina a lot. We just have to yeah. intercept, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll hook up with states. Trump Jr. at some point for sure and have him on the show because I want to talk to him about that picture of him and Omar that just got removed from Instagram because his name, last <laughs> name is Trump. Yeah. Like it was a picture of the two of them. They're both wearing flannel and jeans. 
Omar's yeah. arms over him and he's like, oh, that's offensive. Yeah. Like Instagram deleted it for inappropriate content. Like, oh. Nah, it's, it's happening more and more uh, than you think. Yeah, but I think we're about at that tipping point where it's about to come back. I mean, uh, you, had, you had that ruling that said Trump can't ban people from Twitter. Mm -hmm. That's in our favor. Yeah. If yeah. you think about it, like, okay, like they're going to they're gonna start cracking down on this stuff. And this whole shit going down with Google right now, dude, this yeah. is all going to be good for us. Because what's going to happen is hopefully the government just fucking smashes their dicks. Mm -hmm. And then they get gun shy on, on censorship, mm -hmm. which they should be. It's like, hey, you're not allowed to put your opinion in this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it'd be great, man. Uh, I wonder if Alex Jones gets his platform back at that point. No. You think they're they're all done with him forever? Well, it's just because of the way that they connect to what he's saying. Yeah, that's I, that's the big thing. Yeah. Is he's inciting violence, like, and that's how they that's how they justify. Yeah, it. and besides, he's calling for violence, so it's, it's like, hey, dude, Brandenburg v. Ohio was the Supreme Court case. If you want to check it out, but yeah, he's done some shady shit. But I think he by then he will have created his own infrastructure such that he doesn't need any of this other stuff. Like, people will find out about him organically. Mm -hmm. Like, people, you don't have to exist on Instagram. You just have to have people that will repost your shit over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's just tough to, where do you, where do you listen, you know, every day? Because when you, you take away yeah, all the podcast apps. He has such apps. diehards, man, that they'll, if he says, hey, you have to listen to it on this dot com. If he can get the right. Oh, he's killing it still. Yeah. You yeah. get the right coders and everything like that that make it iOS accessible on your mobile device, yeah. then you're fine. You're just. Shit. He's never going to have a problem because there's too much money in that shit. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if you're fucking stabbing babies in the head with an ice pick or something. You can do whatever crazy shit you want, but if enough people watch it, somebody's going to advertise on it. Yeah. Which means you can get paid to do it. I don't yeah. give a fuck. An ice that. company? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> on that note, let's wrap it up. You, you got a drinking bro of the week? Hmm. Uh, we, we were talking about somebody before we, we came on air. Where, which one? Uh, man, there was a guy who donated a bunch of books. And, uh, oh, no, I, I wasn't here for that conversation. Oh, you weren't? No. Um, I mean, I forget who it was. Uh, Danton, you got, you got, no, you got nothing over there, dude. I was going to say we should make it Matt Best. Yeah, yeah fuck let's, it. Let's, let's you do know it. What? Let's because do Because what he did the other day at San Antonio or what he's going to do the next week You're right. and a half, like, yeah. he's fucking killing it. And he's making sure everybody gets their time. Everybody is happy. He's there for them. Yeah. Like, and it was so impressive to see that many people show up to San Antonio. I haven't seen that many like, people in a crowd for one of our things, and except for the Nine Line thing in Savannah, but yeah. that was like a whole company wide yes, thing. It yes. wasn't just Matt. Yeah. These it was people like, that were was, all there that for was just Matt. Very amazing. Yeah, and he should be extremely proud. Like people are walking around with his face on the cover of a book. And it's just it's, want, it's the biography and of his wants life. His signature. Yeah, like, and he had his dad there with him. Like that's fucking cool. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's amazing. And everybody who messages said that uh, Matt stayed for hours. He didn't have a desk. He, Stood yeah. up, talked to everybody. Hung out, like, yeah. I mean, dude, I was timing some people. They spent six and a half minutes up there with him, telling Man. them, telling them their personal story on how they found him and why they like him and things like that. And he fucking smiles and loves it. Yeah. And uh, so, everything that he wants. Yeah. So uh, to Matt, uh, cheers, man. Cheers. Uh, and thank you for my service is out. Uh, buy it. Buy it. Oh, hardback, please. audiobook, all that stuff. It's already out. Uh, for Jared Taylor, Danthony and Danthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. Good night.